So this evening I want to talk about walleye populations and rehabilitation efforts that the council has been involved in in southeastern Georgian Bay. And these include uh, Tadnock Bay in 2007, the Moon River in 2008, Go Home Bay in 2009, <laughs> the Musquash River in 2012. This is the main spawning area for walleye just below this constriction right here which we believe walleye can no longer get up past because Georgian Bay water level is so low at one time walleye could get right up to the, the moon falls and no longer can do so. So in 2008 we modified and enhanced the spawning area such that what we created Regardless of the historic flows that go down the Moon River, there is suitable spawning habitat for them to spawn in. So even as you get those great fluctuations in, 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 uh, in flow, there is spawning habitat for them below the, the, the Moon River. That's, and this is where historically walleye have spawned on the Moon River, mostly along this North Shore right along here. Next. So we went in and uh, created some new habitat and enhanced some existing habitat on, on the North Shore. Next. Um, this is the habitat that was created on the, on the South Shore. Very, uh, these are boulder clusters. You can see these large boulders in the front and in behind them nested. You have this, this much smaller stuff. The walleye are spawning on the smaller stuff. Next. And, and these are specifically designed to, to get the right the right um, uh, uh, flow volume, cubic meters per second, uh, that wall I'd like to spawn on. Whereas around the outside boulder cluster, the, the current is, is much faster, uh, not suitable for walleye spawning, so walleye are going up in behind there to, to spawn. Next. Uh, on the north shore, it was more of a rock dump. Uh, the suitable spawning substrate was simply distributed along the shoreline for walleye to spawn on. Next. Uh, and again, uh, this is the work on the North Shore spreading the, 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 the spawning substrate next. Um, this is an aerial view. While the work was going on, you can clearly see the, the newly created spawning clusters in this vicinity. And up here is where we were uh, adding additional spawning habitat. So the Musquash River wasn't the easiest project because access to the site was really restricted by low Georgian Bay water levels and uh, the higher river flow levels at the time we were doing the project. But thanks to the adjacent landowner, we were able to access the site uh, from Longwissa Bay and then over land. So here you're seeing the bobcat picking up some of the boulders that were going to the site and moving them about 750 meters over land to the rehabilitation site. They were pretty rattled after 10 days of driving back and forth. Here you're beginning to see them armoring the bank, so protecting the bank from further erosion and at periods of high water levels in Georgian Bay, that same bank may act as spawning habitat. Scott Tanukin, the MNR biologist, was on site pretty much all the time to direct the rock placement in the stream. The excavator had to walk into the river in order to be able to better place the rock. One of the first things that needed to be done was to essentially move boulders in place to help divert some of the water over the, the newly created spawning habitat downstream.
So in effect, we created a diversion in the middle of the river by placing the big boulders uh, partway across the river, and that diverted some of the stream over to the north shore of the Musquash River. And the downstream of that diversion is where the newly created spawning habitat was going to be located. Here they are spreading smaller boulders, creating areas for the spawning habitat. Preliminary results from 2013 have shown that the walleye are now using this site and there's been successful spawn on this habitat. It's a great sign. We'll continue monitoring it over the